Hello, this is Diane and I'm back. I did get my printer to print out my things. These are actually Gail's um, coffee dyed papers with a lace pattern. She sent these to me and I hadn't printed them yet so while I was trying to get these things to print I tried hers too. So I did get them to print um, and this is what they look like on the coffee dyed paper. There's a green line on them. It's not the it's not the printables, it's my printer. Look at how pretty that coffee staining is. This one looks a lot better. Love that coffee staining look. So that's what they look like. Just thought I'd show them to you. Um, my my new touch screen laptop doesn't stay connected to the internet like for a long for a while it was staying connected for a few days and now it's like every time I turn the computer on I have to connect it because it's not connected and I don't know I took it back to Best Buy you know after I got it and I was having issues like that with it and he you know in the settings changed it so that it would stay connected and it worked for a little while but then now it comes disconnected again so that's what was going on with the printer, but it seems like if I have it in my downloads, I shouldn't have to be connected to the internet to print, especially if I'm connected by a cord to my printer. So I don't know, but anyway, as soon as I realized that and connected my laptop, then the thing started printing. Well, I thought I would come back on and show you uh, another idea I had for these sewing cards, uh, flash cards. I've never used one of these ribbon crimpers before. So I thought I would try doing one of those. And I know it's not supposed to look like this. Everything is supposed to be tucked up in there. But I sewed it to contain everything and sewed it way down here and it's, you know, it's not way up there. So anyway, I'm going to make another one. Um, I'm going to use this card that says sewing. I took my little sewing machine charm and tied it onto a piece of ribbon. This vintage uh, trim is wide enough to put behind the card <coughs> and have it show. So I use that again. And I'll cut, I'll cut that to the length I want when I'm done. Um, I need to have I need to have the word at the bottom so it's not covered up, I guess. Although, paper is not going to cover that, so maybe I'll do it up this way. Um, I need another piece of lace that's not too wide. I have this pretty vintage lace. wonder if I can contain it without sewing it. This is the widest crimper that I have. So if I do it right, it, it'll contain everything. The question is, can she do it right? Just put the crimper over everything. I trim the end of that ribbon so it's flush. Okay, everything is in that crimper. Now I'm going to take this 
going to turn that around. There's a little mark on that side. This is just a flat nose plier. Just take this and squeeze it shut. That is not working. It was easier when I had it all sewn together. <sighs> and I don't have another piece that wide. Maybe that's one. Found one. I wonder if it would help if I would glue it so it doesn't shift. I've never done this before, can you tell? But I've had these crimpers for a while, wanting to use them. This one shifted when I sewed it and covered up the word scissors. put the crimper on and then, or the pliers on, and then uh, the crimper shifts. I guess I should start in the center of the crimper. I'm not even sure if that's what this is called. That's what I'm calling it. Can you see what I'm doing? There. See, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> okay, so now I just have to put thread something through that little loop at the top, and I can hang this on something. That's pretty. Should we do another one? Do we dare? This one says button. This one says thread, and I have a little thread. But I don't think I have any more of the wide crimpers. I got an assorted tag at either Michael's, ah, there's one. Michael's or Walmart, I don't remember which. This one, I have this white. I wanted, I want a lace that has um, double edge. It looks, this kind of lace goes up against something. It has a flat edge and a designed edge. This is the same on both edges. Does that make sense? That's the kind of lace I'm looking for. I came up here to clean my room my craft room and I'm not doing it my front steps are done so yay that's done so now the, the top step was so high because of 
the shifting of the ground and stuff, those steps are old. So the top step was so high that I couldn't go up or down it without supporting myself on the pillar next to it. It was a treacherous kind of a step. But now I can walk up and down it. I'm trying to find something to add to this. Somebody gave me this beautiful sheer ribbon, and I don't remember who. I wish I did, but it came from her shop. So I wish I could remember who sent it to me. I just have to thread the ribbon through the little... Oh. I think this was glued onto something so there's some paper stuck to the back so no wonder I can't get the ribbon through the hole. There's no hole. Let's see, I took it off and whatever it was glued onto. Sorry, I'm just trying to make the hole big enough. There's little remnants of glue around the hole. I want to use this spool of thread. I also have a little ruler. And one of the tapes says measure. You know, I, I threaded the ribbon through the sewing machine before I started the video in case I had trouble doing it, but I didn't. It went right through. So I figured I could do the thread, too. Of course not. Not while the camera's on. There. I think I liked having it glued down. I think that helped me. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. do the measure and the button. I don't know what other ones I might have a charm for. If I make these with all of them, then I can set some of these aside for another project. going to glue this at the bottom too because it doesn't want to lay straight and it curves over onto the word.
they ribbon crimpers? Is that what these are called? There. Thread. Sewing. Scissors. To do button and measure. Pattern fabric, bobbin, and stitch. I do have these little spools. There is one that says thread. Oh, I did thread because I did that. I just did that one. All right, so I guess let's try one more. One more. I did like this wider trim. I keep saying I don't think I have any more of the wide ones, and then I find one, so I think I'll find one this time. Crimpers, that is. That would look better on white. Sorry, I have a pin in my mouth. This is just a woven piece. Probably, I'm probably supposed to put a jump ring on these, but my ribbon is acting as a jump ring, I guess. Okay, I'm going to wipe that glue off my mat before it dries. Oh, I didn't look for one of those longer um, pimples yet.
Nope, this time I really don't have one. wasn't completely level, the lace was sticking up a little bit, so it wanted to make this crooked. Just using the flat part and squeezing. Okay, that is it for this evening. Um, I'll be back again to work some more on this journal. I'm looking forward to getting this journal underway. I feel like right now I'm just uh, doing the prep work. But, I mean, the ephemera is part of the creativity, but I'm not actually putting pages into the journal. But I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.